welcome! So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. You may have already spotted that I'm not in my reptile room right now. I'm actually on the stairs right outside of my reptile room. And there's a very specific reason for that. Because tonight I really want to show you guys something that I personally love doing. Which is experiencing the reptile room at night. Let's get to it! Turn on some light. There we are. Let's have a look around here. Amazing. Oh, let's start here. Look, this is Pearl. It's been so long since I've seen Pearl actually being out because she really does seem to enjoy her time inside this bark. Hey, pretty girl, you've really grown. Let's see if he wants to say hi. Hey, pretty girl. Pearl is my, let's see, what is she? She will be turning one very, very soon. She's my Eclipse Boa. I absolutely adore her. She is so beautiful and I personally think really, really one of a kind. Hey, Pearl, say hi. Just kidding, <laughs> she can't say hi. I bought Pearl in December last year. So she's really, she's really grown quite a bit since then. She was very small. But one thing I've also bought up here is some food and I personally really do think that Pearl looks very, very hungry. So why don't we feed her? Let's do that. Let's see if Pearl can take one of these. They are a bit big, but it's been a while since Pearl last ate and she is really growing. So I'm pretty sure that she's gonna take it. All right, someone looks quite ready. Are you ready, guys? Let's see. Ooh, well done, Phil. Oh. Let's keep Pearl hanging and we'll have a look over here. Also over here is a special, special girl. This is Rowena. Rowena, she really does look very, very ready to eat. So let's see if she wants to do that as well. Let's see this one from Rowena, definitely. Let's see if she wants to eat. Come on. Let's see if I can get her up so you can see her. I think I think I scared off of my clumsiness. It's not that easy to both feed and hold the camera. I will try again tomorrow. Alright, and here we have Alistair. See how he's doing. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, sweetie. There he is. Alistair is absolutely gorgeous. He's my sun glow boa and he's a male. Let's see if Alistair is hungry. It was definitely. I always get a shock whenever I'm feeding them. <laughs> so Alistair got his food. Let's see up here. Here is my special boy, folks, who is very very soon ready for his new home. Aren't you pretty boy? Are you hungry? You are always hungry. <laughs> he knows. He knows food is coming. <laughs> Come here. Very nice. Fox is such a joy to feed. Alright, Fox is eating. Let's go down here. This is marble. 
guys using the oh there's water everywhere it was the red before that was dripping i better change the terrarium oh pretty girl that's a shame we'll change you in a bit because i just just saw something extremely exciting that i really have to okay. show you guys all right guys are you ready look at this now these two lovebirds are hopefully in a lock in there it looks like it i cannot wait for these two guys to make some tiny snake babies as you can see it's my golden girl and noelle and yes they are breeding if they do have a lock i'm not gonna open and disturb them but if they do have a lock in there it will be the third if not fourth one that i've spotted it's such a good sign the more times that they do the lock thing, the better the chances are that they are going to have babies. Alright, I'm not going to disturb these two. I really want them to just be uh, calm and in the love-making mood. <laughs> Alright, now let's go up here because in here there is someone very, very special too. Ah, sorry. Alright. This box does have an incredibly high humidity because the the girl that lives in here does require it. Let's see. Oh, she's there. Can you guys see her? This is Morrigan. You can just see her head. Morrigan, she just ate not long ago, so I'm not going to disturb her that much. She does like a little tense. I just wanted you guys to have a peek at her. Morrigan, she is using all of her time underneath this, using it as a hide, as you can see. Um, which is perfectly, perfectly fine. She's still very young. So I'm just gonna leave her here. There we are. Always, always remember to double check that you've closed them. Here we have Samara. As you can see, she's pretty, pretty ready to feed. She has a mean strike. Let's see. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Samari is such a beast, man. Your mama loves you, though. She loves you very, very much. Moving on to this setup, I say that we start from the bottom and then work our way up. First box. Who could this be? Who could this be? Oh, I already see. I got tiny nose in there. Let's see. There we are. Hello, beautiful. This is Arrow, she's my coral glow. She is so magnificent, I love this girl. She's just the most beautiful thing ever. She's eating like a machine, like I'm gonna swear this girl is gonna be like three meters. No, I'm just kidding, she's not. But she's such a good eater and she really is glowing. Let's take a closer look at her. Sweetie. Good night. Oops. I scared. <laughs> sorry, sweet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good night. Watch out for your head. There we are. Good girl. Box number one. Time for box number two. And as I can see, someone is already out. This girl is incredibly curious. I really do see her out a lot more than I do. Uh, the other ball python. It's great to see because she's really she is eating as well So I know she's not stressed, but she is so gorgeous. She's also the one who's hissing at me from time to time So she definitely has an attitude. This is my hatchling champagne. Her name is Asti. She's named after my favorite champagne <laughs> Anyway, this girl is absolutely gorgeous. I love this champagne morph. I really do I think they look so special and so phenomenal and she is very, very far, so you really have to keep an eye out on her. She's so curious and she's already out searching the new surroundings. This girl is magnificent. She really, really is. Hey girl, where are you going? I don't have any food for you today. You had food yesterday. you go oh sorry I scared you come on sweetie come on 
Who are you, little girl? Yeah, you can hit me all you want. I know you're big and scary. I know you're big and scary. So, no, 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 no. Can't go back. Stay down there. Watch your head. There. All right. Can you get a clap? Can you get a clap? And back in to the warmth you. Those were the two. Let's go up here. Let's see in here. This is shale. And shale. Oh. Shale is really, really growing. Like, not only is it getting long, but it's also getting really heavy. And that is a joy. You can see him right here. Hey, Shale. How's it hanging? Shale is the brother of uh, my other ghost you saw before, Marble. Those two are from the same clutch. And they are so very alike and so very different, especially in the way they look. It's really, really remarkable how different they can be. Oh, oh guys, oh guys, oh guys, look who came to say hi. Look here. Hey, Queenie. Hey, hey, sweetie. Oh, 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 let's see if we can feed her now she's out. I did bring something for her. Look at that. She's so, so ready to eat. Let's go find something. Oh, look at that pearl. She actually did finish eating. And she seems to be pretty ready to eat again. Sorry, honey, you're not gonna get any more. Go inside, sweetie. It's a good thing I have these gloves. Come on. Oh, did you see that? Good thing I had these gloves. Never ever use your hand for that. Inside, sweetie, inside. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, come on. There we go. Usually, Pearl is not aggressive at all, but as I told you, and as you could clearly see, she was definitely ready to eat more. Goodbye, sweet girl. All right, now time for, we're just gonna bring this because I don't wanna walk through the entire room every time. Now it's time to feed Queenie. Ooh, hey, pretty girl. Oh, I'm so happy I'm finally starting to see Queenie more out. It's such a joy. All right, let's quickly grab something for her to eat. No, 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 no. Come on, Queenie. Oh no, I scared her. Guys, I scared her. Ah! Okay, I got her out again. Coming right here. Can you see her? There she is. Good girl, Queenie. Now she's sneaking back, sneaking back into her home. We're just gonna leave her. She's gonna come back for more. So while Queenie's eating, let's go have a look at this beautiful guy. I'm sure you already know who I mean, guys. I can all I can see a snoot. Boop the snoot. Hey, pretty boy. Yeah, I know you're hungry too, but you also had food yesterday. You're growing so big and strong. This is Oreo. You already know him, I think. Most of you guys do. He's my VPI Axante Calico Bumblebee. He's very, very young. I brought him back from ham with the two others you just saw. My Coral Glow and my Champagne. He really is mama's boy. I love this guy so much. And I cannot wait to see him grow. He's going to be so, so stunning. But he is still very, very shy. He's definitely getting much better and he's really eating like a machine. So for now, I'm just gonna let him chill a little bit more under his hide. There we are. Always remember to close. Now it's time to say hi to my tarantulas. My three of my tarantulas who I have right here, right next to each other. These guys don't really vary that much in their activity level, although I do tend to see them crawling around a little bit more during the night time. I don't know if you can see for the reflection. Anyway, this is my grandma Stola Polkra. This is Tessa and she's hiding in there. Right next to her we have Satina. I already did a video of her, or my new Satina. She definitely needs some redecoration of the terrarium. I will get to that very soon. I'm thinking about doing a video on it. Completely empty it all around and then decorate it so you guys can see how you can do that. And last but not least is Princess. In Danish she's called Fucking Pilfinger or Princess of Pilfinger. But in English I just call her Princess. She is was and is my very very first tarantula and she is very soon getting ready to molt i'm super excited about that i'm really looking forward to it and down here this is noel's terrarium it's empty now because he's busy and in here we can open uh maybe not all right <laughs> no opening in here we have asmodan you know him already my emerald tree boa he's an absolute beauty i love him 
he is pretty pretty ready to eat if I open the terrarium as you may as you maybe saw just before she, he is going to be so ready to strike and he has quite long teeth so I'm not really willing to uh, to do that but we can see him fine through the terrarium he's in here so this is the whole setup on the one side now speaking of tarantulas you did see my three other tarantulas before but I really do think that you should have a look at Bolette. Bolette is my Lasiodora parahubana. I think that's how you say it, the Latin name. And she's one of the bigger tarantula species you can get. So I was really thinking that we should see if Bolette is hungry. Oop, she definitely was. All right, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in so you can see how she's catching the prey with her fangs. You can see the worm in there is kind of wiggling. She's holding it with her fangs right now, waiting for it to, yeah, basically to die so that she can start eating it. And it also caught up in a bit of the web. You can see it down there as well. Down here is Mama's boy. Come on, sweetie, come on out. You're free to go. <laughs> come on out, sweetie. Come on. Well, there you are. Alright guys, I think that was about everything I had to show you tonight. I absolutely love being up here during the night because that is when the snakes are being the most active and I absolutely love watching them. It's so spectacular to see them. If you have any comments or questions, just post them right down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. If you have the opportunity, I would much appreciate if you would support me on Patreon. It really does help me out a lot. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Just Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!